This week on the show, we have actress J.C. Elliott. J.C. will be starring as Ella in the new Hallmark movie, Romance in Style. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that your current circumstances don't have to dictate what your future can look like. The reality is, many people stay stuck for this simple reason. They don't take responsibility or accept the fact that they have the ability to change their circumstances. You always have the ability to create the life you want by making new decisions and shifting your mindset. Sure, it might not be easy and obstacles will probably arise as anything worth having takes time, persistence and effort. But at the end of the day, if you have enough determination and grit, you can and will change your circumstances. Whether it's inspiring to make more money, travel more, or simply to get unstuck from living life in your comfort zone. The moment you take responsibility for your life and know that you and you alone can create the life of your dreams is the moment when you regain all the power that was lost by feeling helpless and leaving your future in someone else's hands. As the saying goes, always remember that your present situation is not your final destination. The best is yet to come. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, I know that you have some exciting news. You're going to be in the Hallmark movie, Romance in Style, as yeah. Ella, which is amazing. I love the Hallmark channel and all of their movies. <laughs> I binge watch it with my mom. So, so let's talk about your character. Um, well, um, I just also, I do too. I binge watch <laughs> movie ever so yeah. uh i understand <laughs> um I, and so in this one i play uh it's not a christmas movie which is interesting <laughs> i play this character called ella richards and she's a fashion designer and she kind of walks into the high fashion world that she's been trying to get to her whole life and she through a series of circumstances she ends up having an opportunity to make herself seen and known and uh she does just that. She she kind of boulders in and um, makes her mark. Wardrobe provided by H and M. Next up on the show, we have actress J C. Elliott. J C. is best known for her role as Taryn Helm in the hit ABC medical drama Grey's Anatomy, and she will next be seen as the lead in the upcoming Hallmark Channel movie Romance in Style. J C. Thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm doing very well. I'm so excited to talk to you. You yes. have so much going on, so there's so much to talk about. <laughs> well, let's take it back to the beginning. I know that you went to Paris to um, Cour Florence uh, to pursue theater. That was one of your first uh, pursuits. Yeah. So let, let's talk about that. I know it was alongside actors like Diane Kruger. So tell us about right. that experience. Uh, I wish Diane had been there. <laughs> I wish Diane Kruger had been there when I was in school, but she, it was way after her. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I grew up in France, and so I moved to Paris when, after I graduated high school. And it was such a uh, an amazing experience. Paris is such a hodgepodge of all kinds of artists and uh, creatives that it was like the best way for me to to be introduced to that world and to, you know, find out who I am in that, um, where I fit in that universe. So, um, yeah, Paris is a very specifically artistic uh, place. <laughs> Absolutely. And what was it about theater? Because I know theater is one of those things. My uncle is a theater actor. It's one of those things you got to really let your inhibitions out the window and just really go for it. So what was it for you that really sparked your interest? Yeah, I feel like I did um, semi-professional uh, theater acting when I was uh, in high school. And um, theater is, is all about letting go and being your authentic self, and that can be very freeing. It was a very fascinating <laughs> moment. <laughs> And, and fast forward to your role in Grey's Anatomy. I mean, I know this was one of your first big breaks and a huge one. I mean, Grey's Anatomy, come on. <laughs> so, yeah, walk us through the audition. What was going through your head? Tell us about that experience. 
Uh, well, the audition, I mean, like every audition, the audition was uh, stressful and you're always um, having to go through some kind of self-doubt, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, but I knew that they had been looking for the role for a while and uh, they couldn't seem to just get someone who um, fit in what the idea that they had of it. And uh, so I just... Uh, walked into it knowing who I was and I did it as authentically as I could and I brought a little French to it and and um, it was a very good experience for me. It was a quick process and um, yeah, it was nerve wracking and I never thought it would lead to uh, such a, uh, an extensive experience on the show, but um, it's been many little blessings since. So yeah, I'll, I'll remember moment <laughs> absolutely I feel like all the actors and actresses that I interview anytime they get a big role they really didn't expect it like they went into the interview just kind of hoping to get it but they didn't know for sure they didn't have that inkling that okay I'm gonna get this role so I like that I think that's really refreshing that you know you weren't sure and then you get it and it's it's um mind-blowing right what is or what the experience what experience has sort of shown me is that um, most of the time when you think that you um, weren't present or you know if you're prepared uh, a lot of times uh, when you think you aren't gonna get it you end up just booking it for some reason something happens that yeah that's very true because yeah. there's been times that I went to auditions and I thought I got it for sure and I didn't <laughs> and when I thought I didn't get it I got it so I totally yeah. get that. And for our viewers that aren't familiar with your character on Grey's Anatomy, tell us about her. Uh, so I've been playing uh, Taryn Helm. She started as an intern on the show uh, and uh, she became a resident. Uh, she's a very uh, opinionated, very uh, strong-minded person. Um, she's been a lot of fun to live with uh, because she... Uh, she has a lot of courage and she loves the people that um, she's surrounded by and so it's been really um, enjoyable to play her and to learn from her in my own life. And JC, your role on Grey's Anatomy has really sparked a lot of attention from viewers and fans. So how does it feel um, seeing so many people love your character? Well, uh, it's the fan base of Grey's Anatomy is one of the most um, lively that I've ever experienced. Um, they're just so uh, positive and so um, committed to the characters and to their storylines. And so it's been, you know, this was my first role ever. And so experiencing that with this character, it felt like I've had um, a thousand little mothers just rooting for me on, on the <laughs> sidelines. It's been really nice. It's been fun. They're so interactive. So, yeah, it's been great. Very nice. And fast forward today, I know that you have some exciting news. You're going to be in the Hallmark movie, Romance in Style, as yeah. Ella, which is amazing. <laughs> I love the Hallmark channel and all of their movies. <laughs> I binge watch it with my mom. So so let's talk about your character. Um, well, um, I just also, I do too. I binge watch <laughs> movie ever. So, yeah. uh, I understand. <laughs> um, I, and so in this one I play, uh, it's not a Christmas movie, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I play this character called Ella Richards and she's a fashion designer and she kind of walks into the high fashion world that she's been trying to get to her whole life. And she, through a series of circumstances, she ends up having an opportunity to make herself seen and known. and. Uh, she does just that. She she kind of boulders in and um, makes her mark. And it's uh, in that process she, of course, finds love and you know, finds herself. And it's it's um, it's a really fun movie. Uh, and she's a great character. She's actually feels very close to um, to me in a different way than other roles have in the past. It's it's just yeah. it's. Uh, She's a special person. <laughs> Very nice. And I mean, this is one of your first romantic comedies so or movies. So what made you want to take on this role? And what's been the most exciting part of being part of this movie? Uh, this movie specifically talks about uh, 
body positivity and inclusivity. It's the first for Hallmark. They're, uh, you know, um, addressing an important conversation that I was excited to be part of. Uh, this is something that I am, uh, that I feel very close to in my life personally. And also I um, appreciate that this is a conversation that we're having in the world and Hallmark is just um, made that possible for me in this character. And it's a fun, a uh, positive way to introduce this message. And so that was very important to me to be part of this uh, dialogue. Mm -hmm. And what does body positivity mean for you? Because I feel like that's a conversation that's not talked about as much as it should be because there are so many different body types. I mean, and it should be showcased on TV, right? It shouldn't just be one yeah. uh, body right. type that is ideal. There are so many beautiful types of body types and I think it all looks great. So I think it's an important topic and I thank you for talking about it because I think it's very important. So let's talk about uh, what it means for you. Um, you know, I think I've been thinking a lot about this, obviously, because of the movie, and I've been trying to um, ask myself what it means to me personally. Um, for me, in my life, body positivity is an everyday practice. Uh, it's it's hard because we we build a society in which we have certain criteria of what women should look like anyone really should look like there are there are standards that we've created that uh we are slowly re realizing as a group doesn't fit the reality of the world and um i'm excited to see that in in growing generations that we that are younger <laughs> than me um, are they're getting an opportunity to, to have an, an alternative reality and to build a more tolerant and accepting world and I think it, with everything that's going on today, um, it's high time we just move on from these prejudices and, and build something that's a little more uh, inclusive. Uh, mm -hmm. It's important, I think, to just uh, have kindness as sort of a um, direction and, um, yeah, acceptance. And I hopefully if people can learn how to accept themselves, then we can extend that to other people. Um, mm -hmm. Just, you know, aren't we all just tired of being judged? Like, yes. Sort of <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I think that a lot of brands are catching on to that now. I mean, even Victoria's Secret has changed their branding um, to yeah. fit, you know, the everyday woman. So I think a lot of brands are catching on and people are now more open to it, which is great. So I, I love this conversation. <laughs> Across the board, it's, it's, it's everybody's noticing it and everybody's catching on. So. Yeah, and it, it's really great. And I know that when you're not acting, you spend your time giving back. I know that you are part of the Valley, Valley Community Healthcare. Um, so yes. let's talk about that. I know you're a celebrity ambassador for that. Uh, the Valley Community Healthcare Center is uh, based in California. It's a uh, an alternative to healthcare for people who don't have options. Mm. It's a, a really important project and mission that they have, um, and they uh, from prevention to to healthcare to um, follow up. They have options for everyone to come in whether you have health care or not it's it's all inclusive and um it's very much in you know this this positive new world that we're building it's, it's the same idea it's giving people options and being more understanding and they have you know something that i love for example is they think of everything they have amazing staff um they have um an in-house pharmacy and they do their own um glasses that so people can have access to these uh, for a, a lower cost, which is interesting for everyone. So um, yeah, I'm really proud to be working with them. And um, yeah, I could, I could keep talking about them for hours, but yeah, it's, it's worth checking them out. I love that, that you know, you're using your platform to inspire, to uplift, to, you know, shed light on important causes. I think that's really important. And I, I love that. Um, that you're Thank doing you. that. And I created this platform to <laughs> uplift, to inspire, and to showcase success stories. So, you know, what are some challenges that you faced when you first got into the industry, or even now, and how did you get through it? And what's one thing you've learned about yourself in that process? You know, it, it kind of 
comes back to everything we've been talking about. Um, being an actor is about being authentic and being present. And I think that that can be hard in a world where we're, we're being told that we need to be a specific way that um, we might not be. And uh, so I think for me, it has been a challenge and it is a challenge. And I think something maybe um, a lot of people can relate to of, of um, keeping to my keep it, staying true to who I am and um, staying honest and uh, humble and uh, seeing uh, uh, the value in just um, who I am as a whole. Yeah. No, I, I totally can understand that because you know what, the more authentic you are, the more that I feel like doors open up for you, right? Because right. you're bringing something unique to the world that hasn't been there before. And when you're accepting of yourself, you love yourself and you really kind of step into that authentic self, great things happen. And that's why great things are happening for you because you know, you've, you've <laughs> stepped into that authenticity. <laughs> so. I try. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lifelong journey, <laughs> but but you're definitely there. And um, for our viewers that want to watch Romance and Style, where can they do so? Uh, so it's going to be out on the Hallmark channels mm -hmm. on uh, August 13th, mm -hmm. uh, so soon, and uh, it's 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So I'll be watching. <laughs> uh, we have a little premiere planned out with my friends oh, and everything. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll, if you watch, please tweet uh, at me. Yes. <laughs> and um, I'm excited to see what people think about it. JC, thank you so much for being on the show today. I'm definitely going to be watching. I love romantic comedies. Okay. And now that you're in it, I'm going to make it a point to watch it <laughs> even okay. more. And I will definitely tweet you and uh, show some love. So thank you so much yeah. for being on the show. All the best. Thanks. Congratulations on all your success. You're doing amazing. And we hope to have you back on the show soon. Yeah, I would love to. Thank you for having me. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly higher than the sky.